This actually is the infrastructure as a service platform, but integrated into this is our new, as you can see here, new platform as a service offering. So I'm going to click that and it's going to load in. And basically, this is a fully integrated environment. So you can use the infrastructure as a service, uh, which we've been offering for many years, and that integrates fully into the platform as a service offering as well, which is nice. Um, so you have a unified billing and a unified orchestration. Now, what the platform as service system does is it gives you an application level service. So essentially, you can deliver an environment um, so we're delivering an environment to you as an end user rather than a server, which you're then running yourself, basically. Um, and there are a number of ways of doing that. So I can show you the easiest way of setting up an environment um, or a service, and that's the marketplace. So these are specific use cases that are very common that you can use as a sort of one-click deployment that allows you to get up and running very quickly with a solution. So, for example, if you wanted like a MySQL cluster, um, you know, very popular database, you could click install and basically some small configuration options, install and it will deploy that into your account. And that's basically giving you a database as a service offering. And so what you have to see here is that rather than an alternative platform where they are giving you the kind of like um, they are anointing certain services to say, here is our SQL service, here is our no SQL service, here is our this, that, and the other service. Everything is proprietary to them. So that SQL service is the, you know, name your large vendor SQL service. And unfortunately, that means if you build something against that service, it doesn't work if you want to move it to another cloud or onto your own infrastructure. And the, the difference in our approach is that we're saying, no, you can build or define your own service. You still have the same convenience. It still behaves exactly the same as those other services. It is a database as a service in this example that I'm giving you. But at the end of the day, it's a database that is not proprietary to Cloud Sigma, 